In this video, I'm going to record how to uh, do a simple transmission line using FICO. Here, um, I'm proposing that we design a model which is which works at one gigahertz and uses a substrate of uh, dielectric constant 4.2 and last engine 0.02. So, without further ado. Let's begin. Once you open CAD FICO, click on create a new model. For any transmission line, we need three things. One is the substrate, the other is a ground plane, and the third one is the mic strip line. So for any transmission line simulation, you need two ports. Uh, one end of the max strip line will be port one, the other end will be port two. So in this aspect, let us create the substrate. To draw a substrate, we require a cuboid. So if you go under construct and you click on cuboid, a dialog box will open up. Right here, there are two ways to do it. One is uh, base corner width, depth, and height in which your 0, 0, 0 is at the corner. Or you can do base center width, depth, and height where your 0, 0, 0 lies on the center of the box. I would normally like to do it this way because it is symmetrical. Um, you know, if you're using a symmetrical design, it's symmetrical across uh, your uh, uh, center. Now, let's give the width, depth, and height. So I'm going to give a width of 25, a depth of 50, and a height of 1.52. And I'm going to call this substrate. And hit create. So here, you can see the substrate is created. And always check the units before you start uh, creating the geometry. So for that, under construct, under define, if you click on this icon here, model unit, you can see that it's default to meters. To keep it easier, I'm going to change everything in millimeters. Hit OK. Okay. So now we have a substrate. Drawn. So the next thing is we need to assign the substrate uh, the properties, the electrical properties. For that, under construct, under define, click on media, click on dielectric medium. So here you can custom define your own uh, substrate. For this demonstration purpose, let's keep the epsilon R as 4.2 and tan delta as 0.02, right? Uh, call it you know, maybe substrate example and hit create. So now on the definitions under the media tree under dielectric, this uh, substrate under ex underscore example will be created. Next thing is to assign the substrate uh, material to the actual substrate. So for that, under the model tree, under geometric tree, click on substrate. Under the details uh, section, under regions, you can see that it is assigned to perfect electric conductor as default. Double click on it, and under the medium, choose substrate. If you click OK, you'll see that, you know, this changed from yellow to red, meaning it has taken the properties of the substrate. All right, the next thing you want to do is to assign the bottom plate uh, face as ground plane because for a microstrip we need a microstrip in the center and then the ground plane so for that you can click and rotate click on your mouse left click and rotate just move your mouse it'll rotate and for zoom in just use the scroll button in, in your mouse it'll just zoom in and zoom out okay so click on the bottom face here in this case it's phase five if you click on the bottom face it'll automatically select phase five so Double click on phase five and 
default, uh, change the medium from default to perfect electric conductor and click OK. So you can see the color changes from red to yellow. So now we have set a ground plane for this uh, um, substrate. So the next thing after setting the ground plane is to draw the microstrip line at the center of the substrate. So here we are going to keep the impedance as 50 ohms. So you can use uh, whatever other uh, calculations, manual calculations you want to compute 50 ohms uh, width for a substrate of 4.2. In this case, the computed width at one kilohertz is 3.13 millimeters. So for drawing a trans, uh, transmission line, we need a rectangle. So under construct, create surface, click on rectangle. And then I use uh, the already predefined dimensions here uh, for the center. And I know my width, which is 3.13. And of course, my length. And I'm going to rename it as micro strip line and click create. Oh. There should not be space in your uh, naming convention, so you can put an underscore and hit create. So you can see that a microstrip line is created and the face of the microstrip line is default assigned as a perfect electric conductor. Um, so change it to PEC and click OK. So now you can see that we have a microstrip line uh, generated on a, a cuboidal substrate with a ground plane, which is also PEC. So now our complete design is uh, finished. The next thing we want to do is to uh, draw the ports, basically. So for any microstrip line, in reality, we will be having, say, if you want to evaluate, make this and evaluate in uh, real life, you will have a connector going on this end and that end, and you'll be measuring the response or the scattering parameters through VNA. Similarly, wherever the connector is, there will be a port. And there are multiple different ports available. So if you go under source load, you can see that there is a wire port, edge port, microstrip port, waveguide port, FEM modal port, and FEM line port. So all of this depends on what type of uh, solver you are using to solve the problem. In this case, we are using FEM, so we will go for FEM line port. So it the name itself gives, it's a line. So basically we need to draw a line between the microstrip and the ground plane to uh, assign this line port. So before we do that, let us also draw the air box around the microstrip structure. And also, let's draw those two uh, wires and the air box, basically. So uh, go to construct, click on line, and then have a starting point of uh, 0, 0.25, and ending at 0, 0.25, 0. So right here, from top to bottom. And you can name this as port 1 and hit create. So you, can, you saw uh, here we created a line between the microstrip and the ground plane. Similar way, we will create another line on the other side. So click on line and give the other values from where it needs to start and where it needs to end. So you see this line is created here. We can call this port two. Hit create. There you go. So we created ports on either end, right? So in this case, we created the ports, but we haven't assigned them as ports. So to do that, first let us draw the air box. To do the air box, click on construct, create solid cuboid, and then put in the values 
to create a air box. And name it as Airbox. And hit create. Okay, so this generated a box around the transmission line. So in order for us to, uh, you know, assign, uh, to create an air box, we need to assign this region as air. Default, it will be PEC. To do that, go under construct media, add a dielectric medium, leave it as default one and zero, and label it as air, and hit create. So this will create a material called air under your media tree and the dielectrics. Now, let's click on the air box and click on the regions below and assign it as air. Now you see the color change to air. So now you can change the opacity by typing opacity here and then choosing what percentage uh, you want. I chose 40% so that I can at least see what's what I'm looking at inside, right? So now let us set the frequency of operation. So let's go under configuration, double click on frequency, and you can choose between uh, continuous range, linearly spaced discrete points, and logarithmically spaced discrete points, or it can be a single frequency. And if you don't like all of those, you can give your own discrete set of points. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to go for a continuous interpolated range and give starting frequency as um, 500, I'm sorry, 0.5 gigahertz to 2.5 gigahertz. I'm going to click OK. So that's how that's my frequency, which is already set. OK. The next step is to union all these parts into a single part. So remember in FICO, if we do not union all these parts, we will uh, FICO will throw an error. So you can control, click, and select all of them. Control and left click. Go to construct, click on union. So this will union all the geometry into single one union. Okay. Now let us assign ports. Basically we have drawn these lines, but we haven't assigned ports to them. So click on this union and under the edge, there are two wires, wire 17 and wire 18. Wire 17 corresponds to port one and wire 18 corresponds to port two. So click on wire 17, go to source load, click on FEM line port automatically the edge will be selected here and click create. So that will create port one here. See, you can see the port is being created. The next is wire 18, similar way, FEM line port and click create. So that will create the second port on, on the other side. So now the complete setup is done. We have created the ports. All right, so now we have assigned the ports. The next thing is to uh, request for multi-port S parameters. So you can either go into configuration, right click on request and assign multi-port S parameters, or you can go under request tab and assign multi-port S parameters. Here you can open, uh, I mean, you have to assign the ports for which the S parameters need to be calculated. So you have to add port and change it to port two so that both ports uh, are used for the calculation of S parameters and hit create. So this will create an S parameter configuration. So for our purposes, at least for microstrip line, we just need the S parameters so you can disable the standard configuration, but let's do that after uh, one more step. So let's go under construction and click on this union and under these, there are two regions. One is the air and the other is the substrate example, right? So a control click on both and go to properties and assign the solution to be FEM. This is necessary because we want to solve this problem using finite element method. 
So click OK. So the way to do it, I'm going to repeat that one more time. Um, click on Control, click on both of these. Uh, OK, double, um, oops, sorry, <laughs> Control click, and then go to right click properties, and under solution, change the solution method to finite element method, and click OK. The next thing we want to do is to go under solve run and go to solver settings and under FEM, change it to decouple from MOM and click OK. Okay, so now we have all the setup done. We have ha had the, drawn the microstrip line, uh, created an air box, created the ports, and then we have set the frequency. We have requested the S parameters. So now under now we just need to calculate the S parameters. So we don't need the standard configuration. So click on standard configuration, right click and say exclude. So one last thing before we run the simulation is to mesh the geometry. Meshing is basically for at least for FEM, it will divide the geometry into smaller tetrahedrons and will solve the Maxwell's equation in all these small tetrahedrons and then extrapolate to give you the results, right? So I would go under mesh, create mesh, and change the mesh to fine and hit mesh. So this will actually uh, mesh the whole geometry. We can also do a refined mesh, say in case if your results are not, uh, that close uh, to what you expect, uh, and that may be because you know uh, the mesh did not uh, cover the geometry very nicely. So you can basically go and do, uh, you know, say for example, under this air, right-click properties, under meshing, you can create a local mesh size of whatever you want, typically lambda by ten or you know lambda or something like that, and then you can uh, click OK. It will generate a, a advanced. Uh, I mean. A custom defined mesh for you. Okay, so now we have done the entire setup. The next step is to save the design. So click on save. I've already saved it as microstrip line. So for you, a dialog box will open up where you have to give a path uh, name and then uh, choose a path where it needs to be saved. And then click on validate. This step will make sure and validate that all your setup is right and you do not have any errors. So everything is green, so looks like everything is okay. So you can close this and then under solve run, click on FICO solver. So now this will solve uh, the uh, geometry. So this has started to solve and we'll wait for it to complete. So the simulation is completed, so click OK. Now under Home, under Run Launch, click on Post Vico. This is where you post process and look at your results. So here's the Post Vico file that has opened. And now um, under the S parameter configuration, um, before uh, you click on this, go to create new display Cartesian. So that is a, a plotter we have. Click on S parameter once and one more time so that two traces are available. And here change one to S21 and leave the other one as S11. So this is in linear scale you can see from zero to one. So change it to DB and change the other one as well to DB. So there you see um, we get the results of the transmission line. So we have completed this section of the video where a transmission line, a simple transmission line was simulated using FICO, using the finite element method. Thank you for watching.